oil and gas discoveries in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Mozambique have the potential to greatly impact and transform these East African economies. In 2012, 50 wells were completed and verified, but Kenya still has a long way to go before commercialization begins. The government has accelerated uh, oil and exploration activities and uh, some discoveries have been made, as you know, and the commercialization only comes after you have gone through various stages. First, after discovery, you will have to do appraisal. And that appraisal is the one that will be able to tell you the amount of oil or the volume of oil that you have in place. If you know the volume of oil and you do the economics to see if it is economically viable to go ahead and produce it, then you go ahead and produce it. Kenya's Ministry of Mining and Petroleum says that on average, it takes about five years to start production. To fast track this, they say that the government should provide incentives to foreign companies hoping to tap into this emerging sector, a move which other oil experts approve. Most governments have now, have now moved away from service contracts where people come in and they work on behalf of the government. Because especially in East Africa where you're sure that there are discoveries, the oil is there. You know, governments now see that there is no real need, you know, asking people to just come in and invest. So they prefer to share out of what is in there and ensure that everybody is happy. You know, and then the investors also want a production sharing contract, you know, which makes life easier for them. So you are sure of what you're getting. Unlike the mining sector, which requires foreign companies to cede 35% of ownership to local companies, the oil and gas sector is yet to adopt a similar rule owing to lack of capacity. At the moment, we don't have sufficient capacity. And through the capacity building programs, like the one I alluded to, the KEPTAP, which is initiated between the World Bank and the Minister of Energy and Petroleum, we are going to build capacity in a progressive manner in order to make our people able to handle certain activities before we can now put percentages to participation. But this is going to happen definitely in future. Other than capacity, what lessons can East Africa's emerging producers learn from West Africa, which is more developed in the sector? For East Africa, it's more frontier. I mean, all the discoveries are just coming up at this moment. It's, it's important that they, let, they have lessons from um, West African experiences and ensure that, every, that they make the right, in, the right decisions regarding bringing in investors, give them you know, conducive um, environments and um, terms to encourage more investment because I mean, without them, governments can't even do anything. Governments in these countries of East Africa would certainly uh, need to, uh, they, uh, they are eventually getting better at it as in managing how, how they want to define the policies and uh, analyze and how to manage the risk profile a bit of security risk as well in the region as you see these days so uh, so that has to be managed well and as that gets better it would um, it would help the oil companies to get a better share of their the, the I would say the benefits share their benefits with the uh, countries and the people of the region and how does ownership impact on investment in the sector it's important that governments realize the risk of increasing their stake at the detriment of losing investors. But then, if they are good investments, if they are natural resources which are easily discoverable, then I mean, people have no choice. They will come in, and if they have good returns, whatever go the government is asking won't be of any effect. However, if there are difficulties, especially if there are negative discoveries, there are no discoveries at all, then you see people will just run away and the um, government loses. So most times it has to be a balance. They have to strike a balance to ensure that it's a win-win situation where people invest their money, get them back, and with some profit, you know, before government strikes goes in to make sure to ensure that they get in more money. But another concern is looming, the potential environmental degradation that comes with completion of mining and exploration activities. In fact, in the current review of the legal and regulatory framework, we have put penalties on people who will not take care of the environment. And it is expected that once the contractor has drilled and completed the operations, he must properly plug the well before abandoning it to restore the environment to its original position. Going forward, 
With proper legislation and stakeholder involvement, this sector is poised to become one of the largest contributors to East Africa's economies, edging them closer to being middle-income economies in the not-so-distant future.